Doesn't really look like they want you in your space bubble, Glenn. Glenn's installing a self-feeding tube in there. Not well, yeah, self-feeding tube leg for the Cornish Giants, so that I don't have to go in there to get their feed thing out because they're being a bunch of little peckers these days. <laughs> So I don't really enjoy it when I open the door and grab their food thing and they're pecking at me. They've never been completely out of food, but I think they just get excited in the morning because they know that I'm going to come in there with food for them. What? Shut the door? Zippy's back there. He won't let anybody out. Looks like you're almost done anyway. It's a chicken pile. You guys don't have to be so stressed out. Bottom. Send me the camera, I'll take a picture from in here. Sure. Living dangerously. <laughs> While we're showing off the brown layers, we might as well show off the Cornish Giants. Who were moved this morning onto this fresh piece of grass. You can see how close they are to my house. They're just happy in there. Look how big they are. Pretty good chance Glenn and I are going to which are some roosters by the end of this week. There's probably, I don't know, maybe 10 in there that will be ready for by the end of this week. So 10's a nice number to do during the daytime. So let's go check out the turkeys, see how they're doing. I forgot to show you guys my mini herb garden before. This, I propagated from some store-bought thyme that I had bought this spring. Same with this uh, oregano and uh, rosemary. So this is a fancy turkey house. This is two of their, are they brooding boxes? Where they stay when they're babies? That I put together. And so there's a couple of things going on. I didn't, couldn't find the lid for that second box. We had a solid lid for previous turkeys we'd had here. And they sleep in that at nighttime. So it's got breather holes in it. And three breather holes on the other side so there's airflow. 
living living carefree outside in the great wild. I put some garden stuff on top here. These are just pea shoots I pulled out just to give them something to do. They peck at it a little bit. Hey guys. So they got food and water outside and food and water underneath the shelter there and these giant branches from when the storm blew our trees over are just they're heavy enough so they hold everything down and light enough that I can move them to get in to fuss with the turkeys. Anyway, turkeys have been out here for a couple days in this and they seem happier. They're not going to be here forever. We have some more Cornish Giants coming in August but they won't be ready for a tractor until the about the end of August. So when these guys they can move into that tractor the Cornish Giants are in and uh, they'll be they could be in there forever actually because there's a tons of space for these two. That's cool. Hey, Clark. Nice. Did he peck? Oh, hey. Did he peck you? Oh. See, they're not really threatened when I'm, when I'm lower than them. Mm-hmm. When you're huge. Hello. They're starting to relax. They're getting used to you. No. To start off with, you're not the one out here every day feeding and watering them. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, can you put their water back in, please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have to peck at that in order for it to start falling down a bit. Nothing haywire about this fair. Well, it's, I know, it doesn't look super fancy, but it works good. They're going to be so excited to have their food in that tube. So they don't have to wait for me to move the tractor every morning.